Okay, welcome back people. This is part two of my putt tutorial. There's going to be a link in the description which shows my putt formula, which you should probably read that first. Uh, my formula is based on 163, 163 green speed, which is what we're on here, so no additional math is needed. All right, let's talk about where to set your aim marker for your uphill and downhill putts first. All right, so you always want to go two feet past the hole, so it would be 10 feet plus two would be 12. And for uphill, you always want to do 150% of the elevation, which would be four times 50% would be six. So that would give us 10 plus two is 12, plus six would be an 18 total aim point. So base distance plus two feet, 150% of the uphill elevation. Now, for downhill putts, anything that's 155 to about 160-ish, 165 green speed, simply subtract the elevation from your base distance, so 7 minus 1 would be 6. Now, I've got more information in the description on green speed uh, as far as where to put your putt marker, so that should help out. All right, so... The way I get aim points is you take your base distance, uh, then you adjust the elevation, and then you take that adjusted distance and multiply it by the speed of the dots. So for anything downhill, you double the elevation, so 7 plus 2 would be 9. Looking at the speed of the dots, counting at center grid, 1, 1,000, 2, 1. It's about a 1.2, a 1.3 count. So it would be 9 times 1.2 or 1.3 would be about a 9.5 or 10 aim point. And then down to the 6. Now, I don't like hitting short putts that soft. So anything 8 foot and below, the method I use is subtract 4 feet from it. It's going to be 3 feet. Whatever the speed of the dot here, which is 120, you always add 20%, so it's going to be 140% times 3 is about a 4.2 to 4.4 aim point. And then whatever the base distance it gives you, you add 2 foot because you're going to be hitting it firmer. And that's how I hit my little putts. Always hit them firm. Okay, so next hole Okay, for uphill putts, you subtract the elevation from the base distance, so 11 feet minus 2 is 9. Then we're going to look at the speed of the dots to get an aim point. This dot is pretty slow, but this one, fast, very fast, and lightning fast down there, too. So I think we're going to take the average speed of this dot and add about 5% to make up for the entire grid's averaging out. So. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. So it's about a 87 or 90% flow because it's a little bit over a 2 count. So we'll make it a 95% to average it out. So 9 times 9 is 81. Call it 8.5 aim point. 11 plus 2 is 13. 150% of 2 inches will take us up to 16. And there we go. Okay, so for downhill putts, we double the elevation. So 17 plus 6 would be 23. We look at the speed of the dots. They're slower towards the hole and pretty fast at the feet. So this dot right here, this grid seems about an average, so we'll count that one out. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4. So it's a three and a half count. Uh, that's a 60%. So 23 times 6. Math is hard. Let's just make it 24. 12 times 6. Be 14. So we'll make it a 13 aim point. So maybe 13.5. That's 12.5. It's about 13.5. So 17 minus 3 would be 14. And 
and center cup. We'll take that. That's a good one. Okay, so this is uphill. So 14 minus 3 is 11. We're going to look at the speed of the dots. This one's also slower at the hole. Very fast at the bottom. This one here seems about an average. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3. So 2.5 count is an 80%. So 11 times 8, 88. Call it a 9 aim point. Be right about there. 14 plus 2 is 16, 150% of the elevation, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, yeah, 20 should be okay. And there we go, good putt. Okay, so 14 feet, minus 1 is 13. This time the dots look a little bit faster at the hole. Maybe right at the ball too, but the middle ones are a little bit slower. I think we'll take this dot speed, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. That would be a 50%. A 4 count is 50, but we're going to add 5% just because these ones are a little bit faster. So 13 times 55. What's 10 times 55? 5.5. 5. 3 times 5, 15. We'll call it an 8 aim point. So 14 plus 2 is 16, 17. Yeah, we'll leave it at 17, should be fine. There we go, we snuck it inside, but the putt line was a little bit off to the right. But we'll take that. Okay, so we got 19 feet, 3 inches downhill. Uh, normally we would just double the downhill, but if you see all the break at my feet is cray cray. <laughs> it's a lot of break. There's not much break right here at the hole. So we're actually going to break this down to two parts, starting right here. So 14 double the 2, so 18. Count the speed of the dots, which are lightning fast. 1, 1,000, 2. 1, 1,000, 2. It's like 1.6 or 1.7. What is 18 times 1.65-ish? Uh, 31, 31.5. And, and then we're going to add an extra cup for that last part of the break. You know what? 20... 32, I think, is better math. 32, and then one cup over. Yeah, we'll do that. 19 minus 3 is 16. And let's see how that works out for us. And we squeaked it in. That's a good putt. We will take that. Okay, 11 feet down 3 inches. We're going to double the elevation. So, 17. Look at the speed of the dots. That's the fastest. At the feet, there's nothing slow. This one right up here seems to be about an average, so we'll go with this one here. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 2.5. So 17 times 2.5. It's called a 4 aim point. And 11 minus 3 is going to be 8. And there we go.